So this exercise is thoracic spine extension with a stick with the help of a bench or a chair. So your starting position is going to be on both your knees with your elbows resting on a chair and you holding a stick. And now in this position all you're trying to do is push your chest down or your body down towards the floor and tighten your core so that you don't arch your back too much. So that would be the direction of your force. Not only is this a great, uh, a great thoracic extension uh, exercise but it also gives you a great lat stretch. So give that a shot. The next exercise is cat cow in which you're trying to move our thoracic spine from uh, excessively exaggerated thoracic kyphotic position to a more uh, flat T spine position. As you can see the starting position is hands under your shoulders, knees under the hips and then all you're trying to do here is really pull your chest down towards the floor and then arch your mid back up towards the ceiling just getting that spine into those different ranges of motion. Give that a shot. The next exercise is thoracic extension on a foam roller. The starting position for this is the foam roller is placed around the mid back. Uh, when you lie on it, bums touching the floor, hands placed behind the head and chin in a tucked in position. And as you can see, uh, now we're trying to, to do some deep breathing exercises and focusing on the mid back, pushing the mid back down into extension. After having done that, as you can see, I'll slide down and try to get a different section of the thoracic spine. But the general idea behind this is to get the mid back into an extension, just get, getting away from that hunched over position. Give that a shot. The next exercise is thoracic windmills to improve T-spine rotation. Uh, as you can see in this video, I'm comparing my left and my right side. Um, the top leg is placed on a foam roller with the hip and the knee at about a 90-90 degree angle and the bottom leg is nice and straight. Hands together with the palms touching each other and your face looking at the hands. To execute this exercise, we got to uh, start moving our top hand in a circular motion uh, as if you're trying to reach the corners of the room and making sure that the face follows the top hand. While doing this, you want to make sure that the knee of the top leg doesn't come off the foam roller or off the floor. As you can see, most of the motion here is happening at the mid, mid back region and the low back is in a nice stable position. So give that a shot. This next exercise is called as the four point thoracic rotation in a quadrupod position. Starting position is hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Now I'm going to bring my left hand behind my head with the elbows in a bent position. And now trying to touch the elbow to the opposite hand and then rotating from my T-spine and trying to look up towards the ceiling. Give this a shot. The next exercise which is threading the needle is pretty similar to four point thoracic rotation in a quadrupod position. The starting position is the same. The big difference in this exercise is that the elbow is not going to be bent. Uh, my left arm crosses the midline as if reaching to the side and then goes across as if trying to reach to towards the ceiling. Uh, as you can see again, all the rotation here is happening at the mid-back region. Uh, along with that, this is a great exercise also to stretch the structures more anteriorly like the pec and the biceps. Give this a shot.